guys welcome back to the channel we're about to start our tiling project uh, we went and got a track hoe this morning and uh, got everything loaded up so we're heading out with a tile plow we'll go over here we'll have to get everything set up get all of our GPS is going and all that stuff get everything laid out then we can get started but i appreciate all y'all watching so uh if y'all enjoy tile work uh that's what we're fixing to do for the next few days if you don't uh you're gonna have to tune in something else but this is all we got right now we're gonna try to get this tile and done before it gets wet sloppy and nasty it's too dry to do any tillage work yeah, it's just uh super dry so we're going to focus on this, see if we can get this done. So uh, what do you say? Let's get this video started. Here we go. We got our six inch main laid out. We don't have a lot of fall right here to deal with, but we got enough to get our pipe deep enough. But this is gonna be a six inch main. The Migos gonna help feed it in. I wish I had a tile feeder, but I don't. So, as you can see, we got it spooled out. I've already surveyed it. Uh, it knows the elevation. And uh, we're going to get in there, match the start button, and turn it loose. But once I get the main in and get some of this other stuff, I'll kind of film a little bit of it. But this main is very, very important, and you got to get it right. So uh, I'm not going to film while I'm doing that until we get it right. But as soon as we get the main in and start rolling and laying the laterals, I'll show you exactly how we get it done. All right, folks. He's laying off the lines now to put the four inch main in. We've got the six inch main already in the ground covered. So all we got to do is tie into it down here. So we can get them all lined up all the way across where he wants. And then we'll be ready to start laying it in. Yeah, he's in the area that was cleaned out. They had the trees and stuff, and it's kind of been like an old swamped area here for years. But to be as, to be as dry as it is, with no rain, significant rain to even amount to anything, he said it's going, it's cutting through pretty good and pretty easy. So that's. That's a good thing for us. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. We're back out here tiling. Uh, as you can see, we got them. We laid our main yesterday across down through here. And you can see we've got everything laid out on 30 foot centers all the way across. All the way across this bottom right here. Everything's on 30 foot centers. And uh, getting your main in and getting that established and digging in, that's what takes so much time. But we like five more having them all dug in, and then we'll be able to lay pipe and uh, lay in these laterals. It takes absolutely no time to do that. But to walk out down here and show y'all. 
how we tap in. And I know there's been a lot of comments yesterday on Facebook about all the roots, but all this right here was cleared about a month ago, two months ago. But you can see how we've dug in right here and then tapped in. And it will set our plow in and take off. But you got to dig down, find your main, and then tap in. Lock that right there. And then you're good to go. So, we're going to get on a track hoe, get these other five dug in. And then we're going to start laying laterals. And then I'll show y'all exactly how we lay all the laterals. So y'all stick around. All right, guys, we're uh, pre-stringing everything. They just put the tile off in the ditch, and getting us a little loop there. And then Tommy's driving the gator up through here, and uh, we're pre-stringing everything. But you can see we've got everything strung out. We already know how long our runs are, so that's why we're pre-stringing everything. And this just speeds the process up a whole lot. We found that this is the fastest way to do it. It may not be the right way, but it's the way we figured it out to speed things up. When you're a small crew like this. But this was all ground that I cleared right here. Uh, been working on it for several years now. I finally got the time to get it all cleaned up. But uh, we're gonna get this tile laid in here and that'll make it an absolute perfect farm. But it's gonna take gonna take every bit of our tiles so we're gonna lay a truckload right here but that's I mean if we're gonna do it we're gonna do it right that's what I told Tommy let's just do it right so like I said we put a six inch main right here going to the ditch and then we're tying in with four inch laterals and I don't run three inch I just run four inch because it's not that much more expensive and it gives you a little more drainage so uh, but ADS has been excellent to work with i'm telling you uh they have treated me beyond great uh, i know there's some other tile companies out there but ads has been over backwards for me um, time after time about tile and i call and it's here within a couple of days and uh george george has my salesman and he does a excellent job keeping me with everything i need i know this morning was short uh four tap tees and uh, he's driving to the plant and going to drive them down here tomorrow. So, I mean, what more could you ask? But y'all look them up, ADS, or Advanced Drainage Systems. They, uh, they do a good job, and they got, their staff is A1, all the way from the CEO down the ladder. I mean, they are all superb people and try to help, try to help the customer. They just got to the end of the road. Ooh, I let it backlash. I got a mess. Kids, you can't do nothing with them. But you can see our base station set up over there. That's what talks to the plow and puts all this in at grade. When we get ready to do it, I'll show you guys how it does it. It's a pretty simple system. Uh, like I said, Ag Leader and Teleslope works flawlessly, guys. I mean, it's a great system. Can't say enough about that deal, too. Soil Max uh, tile plow. I bought that tile plow used and it's done paid for itself time and time and time again. I mean, that's that's one of the best investments I've ever made is a tile plow. Underneath grain bins. Grain bins number one, that's number two. Well, let's see what kind of mess we got when we get up there. Looks like they got it wrapped back up. They cut in the tile. And we want to go get another one more roll. So let's go get another roll of tile. All right, guys, we're up here. We got to change out a roll. Raise her up, bud. We found where ladybugs go to live for the winter, too. Look at the ladybugs. Raise her up, nigga. It's aggravating ladybugs, they all over us. They just aggravate.
really hold the, hold the folks off. Come on back. Hang on. Ladybugs are awful. Yeah. What we're doing is we're trying to get the tags on time. All right, guys, right like that. Raise her up, amigo. Up. Let's go. At, that's how you load a roll of tile. So we're gonna get this fastened down and get back up there. What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. We're back out here tiling. Uh you can see we got all the laterals laid out and we plowed in probably six or eight, six or eight laterals already. But we got George here with us from ADS and uh George brought us some fittings out. You know I told you yesterday that we we're about four or five tap tapped short, so he ran up to the factory, slapped some in the truck, drove down here. But uh, George has been with ADS a long time. And like I said, ADS is the only tile people I use. They've always been great to me and treated me like family. And, uh, you know, that's, there again, that's the relationships that we build and we try to keep and operate in those bounds. But George, uh, just uh, tell us a little bit about ADS. and. Uh, ADS is a company that's been around for five over five decades. Um, has grown from a one small area in Ohio, went all the way, you know, nationally ranked, and then it's also got hubs all over the world. Right, right. But I mean, how, tell us how small and how big a pipe. Oh well, <clears throat> ADS will make from three inch for agricultural, three inch to fifteen inch single wall, and then you've got eight inch to fifteen inch uh, flex dual wall. And then of course you have four inch to 60 inch, uh, just regular dual wall. Dual wall, yeah. And what we're talking about, 60, 60 inches, that's a big old pipe. Yeah. I mean, and most of the time, when you're 60 inch, you're laying a big, big sub main, most of the time. And uh, I know we've got one farm uh, over here on the mountain that we're gonna have to lay a big sub main. And uh, we're probably gonna have to end up somewhere along in that neighborhood. We'll probably start small and end up bigger as we come down the mountain. but. You know, that's something that we're going to do in the future. It's going to be a pretty hefty It's going to project. require lift stations and a yeah, lot of technology. It's going to, yeah, and it's going to be pretty pricey. So that's something that we're we're planning on and just uh, making sure we get it right and get all of the metrics to it right before we just fly in there and go to Thailand. And, uh, but yeah, that's uh, we're glad to have George drive all this stuff down to us and bring us this stuff. And uh, I've known George for several years now and uh he's a tennessee guy and you know, i was just he, glad to come out here and yeah. take a picture of you or did, get a video of you tiling with <laughs> yeah. that machine yeah yeah it's something it's to an see. excellent setup yeah. for the area that we're in yeah this this is by far the best setup this tractor handles this plow so well and it's balanced so well that and, you know even though it's got narrow tracks on it it does not you cannot spin this tractor out it is so heavy and so weighted and that plow doesn't bounce around when you're surveying. It's just, it's just. I'm 40 feet away from a video and you can't hear it running. Yeah, I mean, we're, it's running at idle the whole time. Mm -hmm. It never, I mean, the thing it's, you know. And this uh, is some pretty tough dirt right through here. Oh yeah, and, and guys, it ain't raining 80 something days and it is dry. I mean, we are pulling, I want you to look at the heaves we're pulling up. How much it's heaving that ground up. I mean, it's coming up in big old chunks and fleets up there. But 
we're gonna get back in the cab and get along and lay some more of this pipe and uh, maybe get down this section here today I hope so I'm about to give out all right guys I want to show y'all how easy this is to install this tile as you can see we're backed up to our start hole right here right now all right now I'm gonna hit changes from install mode to survey mode and now we're gonna start our survey we got the plow raised all the way up pitched all the way up we're gonna hit start survey and I'm gonna drive forward and you can see it's mapping my elevation and we're gonna drive all the way up through here and it's gonna map my elevation all the way And I always do my survey as slow so I get a good accurate survey, you know, somewhere along three mile an hour. Um, we've had to go a little slower in this little rougher ground over here. But that way I get a good survey and you can see it's still surveying. And then once we get up here to the end, I'll stop the survey and uh, I'll show you the install mode here in just a minute when we get done surveying. All right, we're almost at the end of our survey run. So while we got the tractor still moving. We're gonna hit stop survey. You wanna end this survey? Hit yes. Now we're gonna hit install mode. Now you can see my my pattern of my tiling. That's the line we just created. We're going to hit enter. Now it's giving me the parameters right here to install it. We're going to hit enter. Now then, we're ready to install. Now we back up to the start hole and uh, let her plow down to the correct depth. And when I get backed up there, I'll show y'all in just a minute. All right, we backed up to our hole and I went ahead and I hit start right here. And uh, you can see we're, we're just starting and it's keeping grade right here, which is fluctuating a little bit because I pulled up a little bit and started, it stopped. But uh, we're gonna set our speed just a little bit of a mile an hour. Let Tommy get up here so he can get a hold of this pipe. Then we're going to get started. And you're going to see it's going to get us at grade right here. And uh, that's all there is to put in a pipe. Pretty simple. And we're going slow because we're going through all this old rough ground that we cleared. But you can see it's keeping it right at grade. Just, I mean, just really close. But we just keep driving along. And what it's doing is it's not, it's not raising and lowering the plow. plow. It's adjusting the pitch of the plow through the hydraulics. I've got the the uh, three-point hitch and float it's just adjusting the pitch of the plow is all it's doing but you can see we're down on grade and the good thing about this is we got plenty of slope here uh, it's very simply installed but enjoyed AD, AD, ADS being here this morning uh, we went and looked out right up here at this bottom we're gonna try to tile this bottom while we're here so uh, I ordered another truckload of tile this morning. Should be here by Saturday. But we've got enough six inch that we can go ahead and put button our main in. Uh, stuff like that. But Tommy's walking along feeding the plow. And we're just plowing it in. It's it's this is the simplest system there ever was. You could put your grandma on it and let her run it.
Yeah. And right there is the base station it's running off of. That's what's running the, the, the plow, is that base station. Freaking awesome setup. I mean, this tool right here will make you more money than anything you buy on the farm. I promise you. But we've about got these plowed in. We don't like but about seven or eight more runs and we'll have them. But that's all there is to tile plowing. I hope y'all enjoy this because I think it's pretty boring. But maybe you'll enjoy it. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. We're out here putting these drain tiles in today. May go down here and just cut the hole for one. We got some new type T's uh, from uh, I believe Central is he what he said. These things a lot thicker. Look like they're a whole lot more durable. Yep, they're from Central Plastics. And these are what they things look like. So a lot more durable. Looks a whole lot more durable than what we were using. Here you go, Mego. And then what we had. And they fit a lot tighter in there too. So. But we're going to try to see if we can get these things laid. Uh, boss man said that uh, weatherman calling for rain and uh, thunderstorms coming in starting tomorrow night. Said a lot of heavy, heavy rains, so we're gonna try to see what we can get done. All right, folks, as you can see, this is probably one of the biggest tile projects we've got going we've done so far and got going on it's it's a major Boss man trying to get the pipe laid in the ground. Like I said before, we're they're expecting a lot of heavy rains, thunderstorms, and stuff to coming in tomorrow night. So we're gonna we're trying to get it all as much as we possibly can in the ground and get the holes covered before it does. Before we have a flooded, muddied mess on our hands here. So. So he has a straight shot 